Hi and welcome to my channel. Uh, here I attempt to make woodworking projects and usually get them wrong and that's what it's all about really. It's not being an expert, it's making mistakes and learning from them. In this video we're looking at under bed storage for my little boy. Um, like most six year olds uh, he has a lot of things and not a lot of places to put these things. He's got a mid sleeper bed and underneath there is nothing. So what happened was is all his toys would end up underneath his bed but sort of piled on top of each other. He couldn't get under his bed to use it as a den and he couldn't get to the toys in the back. It was really difficult. What I've created for him is a storage cabinet which has a number of compartments and a top shelf above it. I have bought a lot of wood on this shopping trip but I get discounts the more and more sheet goods that I buy. So what I tend to do is get enough boards for two or three projects so I can get the discounts. It just means a lot of stuff to carry in. We're going to cut a series of a dado and then a couple of rabbits onto this larger board. The larger one will be spliced down the middle and that will create the top and bottom. Now there's a couple of problems that I've got with this. Firstly, I made a jig. Uh, the jig doesn't fit because I cut the board oversized one inch to allow for the final cut. Um, so I'm going to have to do something else rather than using this jig. But also, while I have this jig to sort of show you, um, this is us taking off a design off the uh, the web. Um, this is how to make the perfect dado rails. Um, if I can sort of move it around, so you can sort of see it off because it there so we've got a we have a fixed fence here uh, which is 90 degrees on these two supports now this fence moves backwards and forwards and can be tightened up um, this overlay here is perfect for the router to, to hit against there and uh, drop a half inch bit and it will just clear that and that was actually cut with the half inch bit um, likewise on this side now the idea is is you will get scrap pieces of wood you will put them in there butt it up tighten it off and then have the perfect space to, to do a, a dado and the idea is, is you take the router and you first run it up one side and then you turn it around and run it up the other side so the actual bit is smaller than the gap, so the three quarter inch gap and the bit is half an inch and the idea is that will take out everything. The problem was that I had with it is it doesn't fit. So all this work it didn't fit. Now, what I think the problem was, this router, if you can see that, there is a, obviously a round and then a flat angle here. Now I was, I was using the flat angle to butt up against it when I cut it. And really what I should have done is use this side. And this would have given a bigger distance here on this lip and a bigger distance here and would make sure that the router works and, and that that sort of square bit would be the gap that you needed so this is basically scrap wood um, now um, I'll salvage the parts um, but the actual piece itself is going to end up on the fire probably um, but you know this is what it's all about it's lessons learned and uh, just a real person doing it So I think, now taking that apart, I can use this. Um, I'll have to clamp it down, make sure it's, it's straight, and this will give me the guide to do the router. I'll have to just work the thickness out as best I can. dados and rabbits need to be these aren't going to be perfect fits 
but hopefully they'll be close enough for what I need. The workmate bench really flexes under the pressure. I noticed it when I was making the cuts, but this shot really showed how much the board did move. Ideally, I really need something a bit more secure. Okay, so what I've been doing, I've got two lines, and I've sort of been, did the first, and then I've just edged it up, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, to get to this next line. And it's only now, you know, I'm, I'm very close anyway, it's really, really is close, but what I should have done really, is taken this, this fence off, this jig off, and turned it around, and then laid it down this line which, in essence, what would have been happening with my G if it had worked. So, that's what we're going to do now. Turn it around, line it up with a line. I can do it with all these now a lot easier, a lot quicker, hopefully a lot more accurate as well. Roughly split the board in two, I set the saw for the final cut. First, I passed an off cut through and checked the width was correct before passing both halves of the board through to get them to their final widths. I don't think my table saw can really, really handle these large sheets. I do the best I can. One day I may invest in a larger table saw. Next I use my mitre sled to cut down the vertical dividers and end pieces. Their depth was already cut to size at the hardware store, so these should be simple cuts. I don't think my mitre sled is secure enough on the table saw runners. One of these pieces is slightly out of square. A quick pencil line and sanding will bring it into shape. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna uh, see what, uh, see what gluing I can do. Um, start building it up. Um, hopefully, I'm not rushing into it too much, but uh, you just gotta go for it. I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna try with the sensitive vides. Um, try and get them square. Um, whether or not I put the top on now and, and bring it all together, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, so we'll uh, get some glue going and uh, see what we can do.
I thought I was going to struggle. Uh, again, it's square. And I have. So, I don't think it really matters though too much. It, this is going to go under William's bed, so it's not going to really be seen by anyone um, and it should be noticeable. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, click like. Love to hear comments about how I built this storage cabinet. Like I say, I don't get things right um, very often. Um, it, it isn't perfect, um, but it works. Um, it took about a day to do, so um, not too bad. Anyway, yeah, love to hear your comments and subscribe and more videos to follow and uh, see you again soon.